Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to uh, access your Rhino ESC for programming. So, first thing you need to do is go to the website, negative GRC, go to parts and accessories, and go to <clears throat> the listing for the Rhino ESC. And you'll notice down at the bottom there's a link to Rhino ESC software. So, we're going to click that. And then what you need to download is this AM32 config tool, USB link driver. So you want to download that. And it comes in a RAR file, so you'll need to uh, have WinRAR to uh, uncompress this file. And so you can see here it is in my uh, downloads. Uh, so I'm going to switch computers and uh, show you how to hook it up and get it uh, connected. Alright, so I want to preface this next part by saying that if you are plugging your device into your computer and it's not making the noise telling you that something's been plugged in, it could be your cable. Uh, I have a couple of cheap uh, cables here that I got from Amazon that I, that didn't work. So I have, I bought a, just a plain old Amazon Basics uh, USB-C cable and this seems to work just fine so if you're having problems it may and you're it's not connecting to your computer where you hit uh, connect on the software and it doesn't connect to anything um, it could be the cable just FYI and also uh, these programmers when you plug them into a Windows 10 computer they should auto detect and install the driver automatically if you're on Windows 8 or 7 or Hopefully you're not on anything older than that. There may be, you may have to install a driver. So uh, just be aware of that. Okay, so once you have the software downloaded, you want to go to your truck and you want to plug a battery in, turn the power on. You can hear the truck make a noise. It's got a battery plugged into it. You want to make sure that your signal wire is to this side. This is what I call the top. So the signal wire needs to go to that side. Plug your programmer in. Here the laptop makes some noise. Showing, saying that something's plugged in. So let's switch to the software real quick. Okay, so once you have everything plugged in, you want to open your serial port connector software. You want to select direct connect and select your COM port and then hit connect. And you want to select this M1 button up here. And here's all the settings. So first things first, you want to make sure stuck rotor protection is unchecked. You want to make sure stall protection is checked. You need to adjust your motor KV to uh, within, you know, as close as you can get at this thing. This little slider is not very precise but you know if you're within 100 of your kv of your motor you're probably fine um, startup power i would put this value at 100 to start out with and then you can see the rest of those values are just default values uh, and then once you have all those set you need to hit save settings and then you'll see write ee prompt successful at the top and you have just successfully programmed your rhino esc so anyway, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll talk to you soon.